What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Star Wars unboxing video. Today we're going to be doing an amazing vintage collection figure. I can't wait for this. But before we get to that, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe here on YouTube. It helps tremendously. Guys, we are almost at 100. We just hit 1,000 on Instagram the other day. I cannot believe it. But anyway, we're going to be doing a giveaway over there on Instagram here very, very soon. I'm going to be posting the giveaway this week, actually. So head on over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. And like I said in the beginning, like and subscribe here on YouTube. Now, let's get to the unboxing. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a 501st Clone Trooper in the Vintage Collection. I cannot believe that I got my hands on one of these Clone Troopers. And I think I said in just a couple of videos ago how I didn't think I'd be getting my hands on a 501st Clone Trooper, but here he is. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Just a grand figure, and I'm going to wait and reveal once I open him, because uh, uh, it was a surprise to me, so I'm not going to tip it up so you can see uh, kind of the bottom half but uh, um, anyway as I said a 501st clone trooper 501st legion clone trooper with the beautiful blue love these troopers so much and we have two weapons here which is just great the uh, um, the black series 501st trooper was so good uh, just one of my favorite um, troopers that I've done if you want to go back and watched that particular unboxing it was just a couple unboxings ago so go ahead and watch it so here we have a vintage collection card just a uh, uh, beautiful uh, artwork here it, it differs from the original uh, 501st clone trooper card but that, that's okay this is a um a redo uh, a retooling of the old 501st so on the back side we have a couple of these i almost have the whole line minus yoda and the uh, Death Watch Mandalorian. Oh, and Fennec Shand. Um, I have the Death Watch Mandalorian in the Black Series. If you want to go back and watch that unboxing, just a great, great figure. But now, let's go ahead and open this beautiful 501st Trooper. Starting from the bottom. But it seems that's the way to do it. To preserve the card, even though this one is ripping. But that's okay. We are here for the figure. And there we are. Popped out and released onto the wild. Let's go ahead and get these weapons out of here. They're a little soft. Probably because uh, they've been sitting in a box for a few days. Be on vacation and come back to this lovely package sitting on the doorstep. So here we have the blaster rifle, both blaster rifles, the heavy and the uh, uh, standard issue um, clone trooper rifle. Not a whole lot of detail there, just uh, a little bit of a uh, um, little bit of uh, um, like, I guess, scopes and there's a magazine there. Just, just your basic vintage collection. Um, look is what we have here on these weaponry sorry i'm having a <laughs> i'm losing my words there um but yeah just, just your basic vintage collection um weaponry uh this one's a little bent but that the bent weaponry really isn't a problem anymore because uh, uh it can be straightened out extremely easy and these look really really good nice and straight all right now let's go ahead and get the clone trooper out of the package and released unto the wild. Sorry, I got a little tongue tied on those weapons there. Uh, just got back from vacation, so uh, I'm kind of lagging. <laughs> but here we have the 501st clone. I can't believe I'm holding a 501st clone trooper in a vintage collection. And the surprise is kaboom. I didn't think the helmet was going to come off. Uh, I can't believe that the Black Series helmet um, stays on. Um, and a vintage collection helmet <laughs> comes off like what a what a great surprise that the helmet comes off uh, I, I love that even though you know you can kind of see the chin a little bit um so you know photographing from underneath unless you put the head down 
kind of like that it's not as visible so just the articulation that you would expect from the vintage collection just a total body movement insert your own uh, song lyrics there <laughs> knees move nice and nice and stiff I like a good stiff joint but not too stiff the uh, the bottoms of the feet are brown I guess to uh, resemble but you know walking on dirt or something like that uh, not a whole lot of weathering is present uh, barely any at all but they have brown bottoms of their shoes unless that's what they have in the uh, that's what clone troopers actually have I'm not really really sure but anyway let's go ahead and put some weapons in hand I mean look at that you just don't get any better it does not get any better than that look at how smooth he's holding the blaster rifle there and you can just you know bring the arms up and it kind of falls right into place into attack position kind of turn the head there look up well maybe not look up because that moves the helmet up wow he's very very photogenic I hope it's uh, it's coming through well on the uh, video just how photogenic uh, he is the helmet is a little large but it's not too bad I, like, I kind of like that because it does resemble somebody wearing a helmet rather than just a, a head of a helmet if you guys know what I'm saying let's go ahead and put the other blaster rifle in so sadly this blaster rifle is very very flimsy like I'm not really sure if it's just because it's it, it's been sitting in the, um, a box for a few days and uh, but it's, it's it's been solid so, so it shouldn't be this flimsy um, but it kind of when he holds it as you can see it kind of bends up right there but uh, uh, it doesn't have that problem with the heavy blaster there so um, I'm guessing he's going to be a primary uh, a heavy heavy assault uh, uh, trooper because this one uh, it's just man look how flimsy that is it's kind of waves like that but anyway still a great trooper definitely going to be using the uh, um, the heavy blaster rifle and it's just wonderful that the helmet comes off there we have it ladies and gentlemen a 501st legion clone trooper in the vintage collection what a great figure the uh, the regular blaster is uh, um, a little shot uh, it seems to be very very soft and very very flimsy I, I kind of like a harder blaster um, prevents banding and, and you know if you're holding in different uh, positions it's kind of it's just it's just better but uh, uh, the figure itself is wonderful the uh, removable helmet was a very very welcome uh, surprise I am very very happy with that uh, I wish all troopers you could remove their helmets minus stormtroopers uh, we, we don't really care what their faces look like but we want to see Tim and the uh, um, heavy blaster rifle is great it's a little harder because it's probably because it's longer but it's a great blaster rifle and a great trooper thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing make sure and go back and watch my other unboxings if you haven't already I have done quite a few now make sure and like and subscribe here on youtube i really really appreciate it we are almost at 100 guys and then head on over to facebook instagram and tiktok we're at a thousand on instagram head on over there we're going to be doing a giveaway soon luke underscore photography walker linked in the bio thank you guys so much for watching and may the force be with you